Hey everyone, Kibby King 77 here, here to do a video showing you the latest and easiest method to unroot or unbrick your Samsung Galaxy Note uh, from AT&T, the i717. Uh, before I do want to get into this video, I do want to give a huge thanks for, uh, to Michael from Flygrip. He actually sent me this phone so I can do some videos for you guys to help you guys out. So huge shout out to uh, Michael from Flygrip. Of course, it does have a Flygrip on it. I don't even know how you would use this phone without a Flygrip. Um, if you do not have one on your Galaxy Note, definitely think about getting one. Of course, you do have other col color options, by the way, but definitely be sure to think about getting one. It makes it so much easier to hold. You also can double it up as a stand vertically and horizontally, of course. So uh, obviously it's a great accessory for this device and definitely a necessity since the screen is so large. But anyways, I will post links. You can use uh, code QBKing77 and get free shipping as well on the fly grip. But let's go ahead and unroot or unbrick this device. First of all, of course, if your phone is bricked, you can't turn it on, which is fine. Um, if it's not, uh, you can go ahead and just power off your device because we are going to need to have it shut down. Um, I am rooted at the moment. I do have a custom recovery as well. But once uh, it's powering down, let it do its thing. You, you're going to need to download some files. So go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video will take you to this website right here. This is where you can get the stock tar file, which is what it is called. For, first of all, huge shout out to DG for uh, providing us with these uh, with this tar file. I all, you also see a couple other links in the description. You're also going to need to make sure you have the drivers installed on your PC. So go ahead and if you have not, click on where it says drivers in the description and go ahead and install those on your computer. Once you've installed them, you're ready to go then. You're also gonna need to download Odin on your PC. So uh, you'll see a link in the description for that. So download that as well. But otherwise, when you get to this link, you're gonna also need to download this .rar here. So go ahead and click on it and download it. It will be the stock file for your AT&T Galaxy Note. So go ahead and download it. Uh, it'll be a pretty big file, so make sure you just uh, be patient with the download, of course. And also, so once you're done downloading all the files, your uh, stock tar, your Odin, along with um, the drivers installed on your PC, go ahead and go to your desktop, which is what I recommend doing. And once you're on your desktop, right click and hit new and make a new folder. And you can just call it note unroot. Because if we have a note unroot folder, that's where we're gonna put all the files that we do need. So in case you ever need to access it in the future, you'll know where it's at. And we're also gonna need to unzip a couple files. So now once you have that file on your desktop, go to your downloads folder. And once we are in our downloads folder, you will notice that uh, here's what the file should look like right here. So it should be PDA Odin AT&T stock, which is a, you'll notice it's a zip file or a RAR file, it's zipped up. So we need to extract the file inside. You also notice when you download Odin, it's zipped up. So let's go ahead and extract Odin first. So double click on Odin. And once you double click on Odin, you will go ahead and need to drag a couple files. You need to actually just drag all three. So select all three files that's inside that zip and drag it over to your note unroot folder. So it'll un unzip all three of those files into this note unroot folder. Go back to your downloads and double click on where it says PDA Odin AT&T stock. And inside is where the tar file is. Actually, that's where the, uh, the file is that we need to unroot. So inside you'll see that tar, click and drag that and put that into your note unroot folder as well. That will take a bit of time to extract because the file is much larger than Odin was. So be patient with this extraction process. I'll be back once it's done. All right, so it's done ext extracting into that folder. You can go ahead and double click on the note on root folder that you created on your desktop. And inside you will see there is Odin and there is that stock tar file as well. So we've got both files that we do need in that particular folder. So let's get Odin set up. So double click on Odin and then it should ask for user account control, hit yes. And then it should open up Odin. This is what Odin is going to look like right here. So you'll see Android plus SLP up at the top. This is exactly what we want. So here's Odin. Uh, you will notice uh, some buttons here. We only need to press one of them on the right side. Press this PDA button that's right here. Select it and then it might take you to the note on root folder. If it does not, you need to go ahead and select desktop and find the note on root folder that you just created. So double click on that note on root folder and inside of it, you should see that PDA Odin AT&T stock. 
uh, file right there. You can double click on that tar file and then it will get put in the PDA slot of Odin here. So you'll see it is checked as well um, and that's it. So you can leave F reset time checked and auto reboot checked as well uh, and we're ready to go. So Odin is all set up but now we need to go to our phone which we did shut off so make sure you do power it off. Now we need to get into what's some call Odin mode or download mode. To do so you press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Keep it held down. And then it should take us to this warning screen right here. What we're gonna need to do is just press volume up to continue. And you'll see we are in download mode here. So now once we are in download mode, uh, what we need to do is go ahead and plug our uh, note into our PC. So plug it on in. And there we go. If uh, drivers are starting to install on your PC, let them install. Um, in the bottom right hand corner of your computer it might say installing drivers let them install but otherwise in Odin you should see a yellow box pop up and it should say com and then a number it does not matter what the number is just make sure there's a yellow box and it says com right there and we are ready to go that shows us that Odin recognizes the, the device and we are ready to unroot let's go ahead and just hit start once uh, that tar files in the PDA slot uh, auto reboot F reset time checked hit start and then it'll go and go ahead and run through the process I do want to talk about some troubleshooting steps with Odin if you run into any issues whatsoever So if you have any problems, let's say Odin gets stuck anything like that The main reason that Odin has problems is the cable so uh, Definitely try a different USB cable if you're having issues with Odin. That's the main troubleshooting tip uh, Also, you can try reinstalling drivers on your PC. You can try rebooting your phone rebooting your PC you can also try using a different USB port as well. So those are the main troubleshooting steps with Odin. So be sure to try those out before you do ask. Uh, if you, you do have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment, but make sure you follow those troubleshooting steps before you do ask. Uh, otherwise, though, you will see a green box in Odin right there. It'll go ahead and let us know the progress. It does take a while, a bit of time, probably, if I had to guess, around 10 minutes. Uh, don't hold me to it. Sometimes Odin will tell you how long it does take. But other than that, though, I'm going to go ahead and let it run through. Just be patient with it. Make sure you don't unplug your device, and then I will be back once it gets further along. All right, so you'll see it's finishing on up. It is flashing the last files that are needed, and it, you will see a blue box. It says reset. It will automatically reboot your device. And it will say pass, a green box there. It does say pass. It only took three minutes and 30 seconds, I do believe. So again, if it does get stuck, takes any longer than 15 minutes, something went wrong, try those troubleshooting steps. Otherwise though, it will reboot. If for any reason your phone does not boot up, um, you might, you will have to do a factory reset and stock recovery. So I will show you how to do that now, but I will, let's go back to the phone now. Once Odin says pass, you do not need this plugged in anymore. So you can go ahead and unplug it as soon as it says pass and that's it. So it should be booting up now. As you can tell, it is booting up and it did boot up properly. But let's say you get stuck in a boot loop and your phone will not boot up properly. Um, you can go ahead and obviously you wouldn't be powering it off. You will say it didn't shut off so you can actually pull the battery out. So if your phone's stuck in a boot loop or anything, just go ahead and pull the battery, just put it right back in, and now what we can do is um, go ahead and go into stock recovery and do that factory reset if your phone isn't booting up properly. To get into stock recovery, press and hold volume up, volume down, and power button until the first Samsung screen lights up. So you'll see it light up, go ahead and let go, and then it should take us into our custom recovery, which should be stock, no, sorry, not custom recovery, our stock recovery. So as you can tell, it does take us into Android system recovery. So up at the top here, uh, you will notice Android system recovery, and now we are ready to do a factory reset. So to navigate, use the volume up and down buttons. Go ahead and press the volume down twice until it highlights wipe data factory reset. Press the power button to select it or actually not the power button, I'm sorry, press the home button to select white data factory reset. So select the home button and then go ahead and press volume down until it uh, highlights yes, delete all user data and press the home button once again. And what that's gonna do is do a factory reset of your phone and you should be good to go. You should be completely back to stock on your device. You can just hit reboot system now. Once it's done, press the home button again and then it should reboot our device. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it reboot and I will be back. All right, and once your phone boots up, you should be greeted with your phone setup. You can go ahead and run through that if you'd like to, and that's it. So we are now 
fully unrooted, uh, hopefully unbricked as well, and onto the home screen, and there it is. So uh, that's it. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me as well. I'll be doing some more Galaxy Note videos in the future, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Check out the flag grip as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.